Brother Bob, you said it was hard being the last speaker. I'd like to remind you, you were not the last speaker. <laughs> and so much of what was said today, I could echo with a warm heart and, and I wish I could, but it'd be redundant. We all knew Joe Adams, but one thing they all three talked about was how Joe liked to eat. And if you've ever eaten anything that came off the Elaine stove or set your feet under her table, you know exactly why. And I want to talk about what Joe ate too, but in a little bit different vein. If you go to the grocery store tomorrow and go to the frozen section and find the bread section, and you pick up a loaf of Ezekiel bread, you'll find a verse of scripture on it. And it reads this way, take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and spelt, put them in a storage jar and use them to make bread for yourself. And you might think immediately, that's God's recipe for good bread. That must be the best tasting bread in the world. But if you made it, you'd find that it wasn't very good tasting. So why did God give a recipe that didn't taste all that good? Because he looked down the road and he saw what was going to happen to Israel. They were going to come under siege. There would be no food, there'd be no water, and he was saying, when everything is gone, when you've exhausted everything, put these ingredients together, and you will find that you will have bread that will be nutritional enough that will get you through the hard times. Elaine, you and Joe have been through the hard times for years now. If you thought about what they went through on a weekly basis, not for months, but for years, it's astounding. How did they have the strength to do that? What would Joe tell us? God's recipe. Over the, over the years, this family feasted on the Word of God, fellowship with His people, loving their church, great Christian music, devotional Bible readings, and over the years they were strengthened time and time again and made ready for the hard times that God knew was coming. And everybody was right. If Joe were to speak, he would say, come to Jesus Christ. Not only for salvation, but for preparation. Because when we eat God's bread, that's what God provides. We are going to have the strength to survive those difficult days, those really hard times. People spoke of his sense of humor. Do you know how hard it is to have a great sense of humor when you're hurting 24 hours a day? God gave that to him because he had feasted on God's bread. So as I thought about that, I thought about that testimony. Preparation for the more difficult times and how he was able to go through it with his faith intact and his witness as bold as ever. Now we all know that the Bible perishes and I thought of this scripture. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead? The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. And I was going to end with that. But we walked in today and I saw this with the 23rd Psalm beside Joe's name in his picture. I knew that was the appropriate ending. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. 
He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so he is dwelling there today. Would you bow with me? Father, we can commit this body to the ground. But this life was committed many years ago. And this heart was given to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he began a pilgrimage of faith that he has lived boldly and strongly every day. Thank you for his witness. Thank you for the way he touched our lives. Thank you for the influence on his family and how it shows in each and every one of them. And we pray for them and for this church. We pray particularly for Elaine as we lift her up. Lord, walk with them. May we as Christian brothers and sisters, fellow church members, may we comfort them with our prayers, our presence, and our love. Which in the strong and powerful name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.